We often assume that China and other countries, free of legacy investments and traditional operating approaches, will leapfrog more mature markets. But let's think afresh. The industrial internet of things is the next big wave of digital technology. And our economic modelling suggests that conventional wisdom does not necessarily apply here. When we asked 1,400 business leaders, two-thirds thought the industrial internet of things would help emerging market economies close the competitive gap with more mature markets. That's because they see automation levelling the playing field. But Accenture estimates that in the US, the industrial internet of things will add up to seven trillion to its output by 2030, lifting its GDP in 2030 by 2.3%. And there are similar figures for the Nordics and for Northwestern European countries. China's gain will be about half as much, and it will be even more modest in Brazil, India or Russia. But mature market economies have an advantage due to the skills, infrastructure and institutional frameworks that support digital investments. They also currently have a lead in the knowledge economy and in advanced precision manufacturing, they're at the heart of the industrial internet. But we also think that some more mature markets such as Spain and Italy are likely to struggle due to the poor enabling conditions. And all this shows that we cannot take for granted the impact of digital to transform our economies for the better. It will take a combination of government and business collaboration to put in place the right conditions. And if they succeed, the industrial internet of things could significantly alter the competitive balance of manufacturing economies.